Hello, my name is Dan Goddard and welcome to the Alpha People channel. We'll be uploading various feeds to this channel, including what's new in Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011. This first of many will include added functionality. It's a short clip focusing on working with connections. Connections can be established between contacts, companies, opportunities, leads, any record type in CRM. So let's take a look. So we have CRM open within a browser. Um, I'm looking at the grid of my active contacts and I'd like to establish a connection between two of my existing contacts here. I can use the ribbon at the very top to choose connect to another record, another account, opportunity, lead or even connect to me, my CRM user. For now I'm going to connect Darren Parker with another CRM contact and establish the, co the, the new connection within this dialog window here. So I can choose to connect to uh, the contact below and also look up or type in the role to define the connection. Also I can expand the details area at the bottom to confirm that this contact is in fact being connected to my selected contact and again that role can be established in reverse as well. So if I look up a role for Eva there are a few examples that you'll see in this dialogue and Eva could be potentially a champion of Darren uh, so I can make that selection click OK and save and close from here. There's a little bit more to it. We can add other types of connections that will automatically populate the lower connection. For example, if I make Eva a parent of Darren, the role is reversed automatically by CRM, which is quite clever. I can remove those and look up another connection type. Let's say Eva is a referral of Darren and as you can see in reverse he's referred by Eva. If we go back into the connections dialog we've been using the grid of um, applicable connection roles but if you needed to you could choose to look at all active connection roles which will display roles that are really applicable to other CRM records like economic buyer, technical buyer, so on and so forth. Okay, But we go back to applicable connection roles. We could create brand new ones if we wanted to and again use existing just here. Okay, so we can establish that like so. Save and close and that role uh, that connection is now defined between those two contacts and using the second example I can bridge a connection between my selected contact and me, my CRM user and I can look up a role and I could be the account manager for my chosen contact just here with that saved, I'll be able to click on the link for that contact and see any existing connections for that contact just over on the left here. And we can see that I'm an account manager and that another CRM contact is a parent. So that's just a brief overview of connections. We will be uploading some more feeds to the uh, Alpha People channel very soon, uh, filtering records, dashboard, SharePoint integration and uh, much more. Um, so in the meantime, if you need to contact us, feel free to uh, visit our website www.alphapeople.com. The phone number is on screen as well with our address. In the meantime, thanks very much for, for watching and goodbye for now.